a, it's a funny question actually. I, always, I do actually think about it and I think, oh, look, I grew up in Tasmania and I must admit the lure of the mainland was probably the driving factor for why I decided to do architecture. I was always, I was always pretty interested in sort of three dimensions. Um, I can remember when I was little I built a, a community from timber with my dad, which maybe I should be an urban designer, but, but I think it was that lure of, um, yeah, the mainland, getting away from Tasmania, trying something different. Look, it was probably, um, I was in the right place at the right time, in a funny way. Um, I came back from working overseas for a few years and decided that it was time to come back to Australia. Um, but to be honest, I remember meeting a friend at a party who said that um, it, was, it was then Mitchell Jogglethorpe were looking for staff. Um, I did know Richard. I'd, um, Richard had been in one of my tutors at university and I really respected his, um, I suppose, how he approached design. So I thought that would be quite interesting. I, I, knew, I knew that F um, Mitchell Jogglethorpe at that, that time had obviously done Parliament House. I also knew they had a um, very strong commitment to the public domain, so that was quite important. Um, so really, yeah, that's sort of, I suppose, why, how I ended up at MGT, Mitchell Jogla, which then became MGT, which then became FJMT. Look, I think in a way what I've done hasn't really, hasn't changed in terms of, I suppose, uh, the architecture, the the projects. Um, in terms of practice, there's been, a, I suppose, a continual development of, um, <clears throat> I suppose, how we evolve the practice, and I've been involved with that throughout the whole, and really from, look, in a way, how we work with our, sort of the evolution of the practice is by talking to everyone in the practice. So it has been a um, sort of slow kind of evolution of that. Um, I, I suppose, went from being associate to being principal, and then we had a, um, a f oh, when was it? It was in 2015, I think. We had a bit of a re, a rethink about how we wanted to structure the practice, and so then I became, at that point, managing principal. Um, Jeff, at that time, was setting up the UK office, and so his focus was on that for a while. So um, that sort of gave the opportunity to then just have a rethink of how we divide, divide up our responsibilities.